Welcome to the video. Before we begin, if not already, please take a moment to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload. Comment your little heart out. And most of all, please enjoy. Now back to the video. How do you like the after dark lighting I got going on back here? It's red. For my first official vlog, I am going to go over a topic that's been hounding me since I started this whole thing. And that is, I'm going to go over some mean comments. Now, keep in mind, I don't condone mean comments. I don't believe in belittling other people just because you don't agree with their content or whatever. I hang on to these because they're very, one, I find them kind of humbling. And two, they remind me that I'm not going to appeal to everyone. And that's okay. I, I shouldn't appeal to everyone. If I make some people upset or mad, it's not my intention, but it's going to happen. And if some people are just dicks about it, that's just going to happen too. I've been at this a long time, so I'm, I'm fully prepared to go over this list. You know, I get these once in a while and going through them in a big cluster like this, I might be asking for trouble, but let's, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Our first one, I'm not going to name names by the way. Your channel fucking sucks. How about you make a movie of your own, you fat prick? Hush! Wow! <laughs> How many of your dogs did I run over? That That's rough, man. Well, I don't approach movies as a frustrated filmmaker, like some film critics who... I go over movies as a film goer. I share my thoughts and feelings that bubble up as I'm watching a movie as a film goer. All right, the next one. <laughs> Chill out with your poor attempt to be a comic. It's atrocious. You better stop or I'm going to send someone to kick your ass. And he spelled kick, K-I-K. -K. Your mother! For one thing, um, it's K-I-C-K. -K. And two, come on, man, it's the internet. You're supposed to pretend to be tough yourself, not outsource your ass kicking to someone else, all right? Next one. <laughs> wow, your attempts at jokes, in quotes, are so lame, you're the lamest person I've ever seen. Can't believe people watch your reviews. The movie isn't even that bad. You're just a sissy. It's pure comedy gold. This man has no dick. Some people get confused that the jokes I make at a movie are not me belittling the movie. I'm poking fun at it the way a friend pokes fun at other friends. I mean, I can do this with movies I adore. It's kind of, just kind of a way of adding an extra layer of fun to a movie. If that's not your bag, there's plenty of other review channels on YouTube that you can watch where people don't make lame attempts at jokes. Good luck finding something you like. Dude, shut up. Actually review the movie. I came for an actual review. Hush! You kind of have to watch the whole thing. Riff the movie in the beginning and then I go over the review. I'm not the only guy who does it this way. You're not funny at all. Amazing film. Fuck you. A lot of the movies, five-star movies I've done, I love. But I can still kind of make fun of it. Your comments are still helping me, by the way, so thanks for that. Uh, Superman was not in Suicide Squad. Batman was. You seem a little disoriented. Newbie, my advice is something warm in your stomach and maybe a nap. More often, you seem a little disoriented, like I said. Go fuck yourselves. Speaking of disoriented, no, Superman wasn't in Suicide Squad, but he was referenced heavily. <laughs> disoriented. Your mom's disoriented. I do agree with, I like having something warm in my stomach and I do like naps. All right, this one's simple. Quit being a pussy. Fuck you. Here's the next one. That was bad. Should have left the music from the trailer. Your review was not very insightful or good. Keep trying. Thanks, I will. Music left in the trailer. He's probably talking about Happy Death Day, which, yeah, I agree. They have this cool song in the trailer and nowhere to be found. Starship Troopers all over again. Woohoo! That was not in the movie. Wow, you're like the opposite of funny. Also be gayer, maybe. Is that a request? I like the review, but the humor and jokes are reflecting how awful you are. Your mother! You know, I just realized how many of these are. <laughs> Jokes aren't even funny, bro. Just review the movie. This man has no dick. Why are you in such a hurry? This one's gold. Why does every fucking dweeb try to make a movie review into their comedy routine? Enough with the shtick. Just remove the film as you saw it. I am. That's... <laughs> that's... That's how I am. These reviews are the worst. Fuck you! The worst what? Oh, here we go. I thought this was a serious review, not a chubby dude telling dad jokes. You should probably stick to reviewing Tom and Jerry reloads. Hush! Okay, 
My dude, you are cringe and your mic is so bad. All I can hear is I I do cop to that. I'm not a big channel here. I don't make a lot of money, so I've been incrementally upgrading. And I've had times where my equipment failed and I had to switch to something cheap, something available. I'm not always filming in the best conditions. Sounds coming in from my neighbors. There's loud dogs out there. There's raccoons. And this cat licks herself so loud. Speaking of equipment failures, my camera just died. Sometimes emergencies pop up and I can't spend money where I want it to go. That's just, that's just life. I don't know who this person is, but they are in love with Phalus. Phelan Porteous, um, he's another YouTube reviewer. Phelous craps all over this. I hope not. Have you seen Phelan Porteous's video reviews? They're funny and not sexist. Much more palatable to the majority of people. Hush! The abominable Dr. Fives, it's in the left corner during most of the whole review. It's distractingly wrong. Go fuck yourselves. I made a typo. Sue me. I just find your reviews annoying and unwatchable. Your mother! Then don't watch. <sighs> you pussies just don't know what's good. You don't get the movie. You only get it if you are smart enough to hate humans. I'd love to make a centipede out of all of you. Hush! For anyone who just wanted a synopsis of the film, go elsewhere. This tasteless moron spends 13 minutes ruining an essary aspect of the film. Fuck you. And this was for Antichrist. I get it. I didn't quite understand the movie. But again, I'm telling you how movies make me feel. I don't... I don't go to movies to analyze every little bit. <laughs> you and jokes don't mix, you suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the most annoying review channel on YouTube. Is there an award for that? The epitome of a fat nerd, and this is why fat nerds are not desirable. My wife would say otherwise. I can take criticism. I can take constructive criticism. I can take barbs. I can take jabs. But when you make a comment just to be mean, just to attempt to make someone feel bad or bully, you're not going to get me that way. I've, I've grown up bullied left and right, and I've learned to deal with it. I've been called a lot worse by a lot better. You got nothing for me. I do have feelings. Another movie reviewer with a funny guy routine to sell. It's hard to get a regular review anymore. Why does every review channel try to be a skit comedy? Just review that shit. Granted, there's a lot. It's a subgenre. There's a lot of these, but keep looking, you'll find it. Do the work. Once again, a movie review channel that tries to make everything look like shit. I'm so tired of this. Just appreciate the movie for fuck's sake. I, I get that I do review bad movies. They're a lot of fun to make fun of. Just turns into a more fun for everyone. So it, it kind of goes that way. I also have done this to movies that I adore and I do not try to make it look like shit. Again, I, just because I make a joke at something doesn't mean I hate it. A bad movie, a great movie, will make me feel and think of things. That's just the way my brain is wired. The worst thing a movie can do to me is make me go, eh. If a movie is unmemorable, unremarkable in any way, those to me are the worst movies. Movies that I have no recollection of didn't leave any impression. Yeah, sometimes movies do look like shit when I review them because they are shit. And this is the last one. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this one's for Ultraviolet. Seems to me you were born into a world you don't understand. Ain't that just like the dumb, come quick with sarcastic critique that about which they do not understand? I have some understanding to impart to you. Lose a few pounds and then read a book or two. Then maybe you will understand, you fucking moron. Your mother. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Again with the pounds. You wanna come at me? Come at me. You're just gonna make fun of my appearance? Fuck you, all right? I look at it as an opportunity to be exposed to as many people as possible. And that's gonna include people who will like it and who will hate it. The name of this game is to be exposed to as many people as possible. For the slim chance, somebody is gonna hit that subscribe button. Kind of the name of this game. You, you want people to subscribe. You want people to like and comment and engage. And I just want people to like the videos. I want to brighten people's day, I, I like to make people happy and entertain, maybe inform, and just share with other people. And you guys share back with me. These people who do the mean comments, I'm not mad at you. There's no reason you can't tell me how you feel. You disappoint me a little bit. If I were getting the majority of these bad comments, yeah, I'd, I'd say I was doing something really wrong. Your comments let me know that I'm doing okay. I'm just glad somebody's entertained by it. That makes me feel a lot better what I'm doing up here.
That's it for me. I'll talk to you later. Toodles.